Hey, I'm Luke and welcome to Down From The Attic. Ordinarily, it's a couple of weeks before I upload a new episode. Hey, you do video editing for a living and then come home and try and do it. You'll fry your eyes out your head by looking at screens all day. But this time I'm doing something a little different. I'm going to be uploading a new video every day this week, covering a bunch of toys that are my absolute favourites. Now, I know I've said that before and I've said that about toys and games and yeah, they are my favourites. Uh, I absolutely love Crash Test Dummies and Ready Set Spaghetti, a firm family favourite. But hand on heart, what I'm showing you this week, these are some of my absolute favourite toys. One of them being my absolute favourite toy. This is Ball Bearing Week and we're going to be looking at Tommy Ball Bearing Games. Starting with the first and most popular, Screwball Scramble. Let's get this down and have a look at it. Screwball Scramble is one of Tommy's older and better selling ball bearing games. Released in 1979, it's gone by many names, Snafu, Run Yourself Ragged, Tricky Golf, Tricky Traps, but are all the same game. Ball bearing games have you as the player trying to navigate an obstacle course from one end to the other, usually with a timer ticking down as you do so. Most of these games are motorised and have a single button to manipulate the ball around the course. But Screwball Scramble is a bit different. First off, no batteries required at all. Even the timer is clockwork, which I really like. Second of all, look at this bank of controls here. They all operate different portions of the maze. To start the game, the ball bearing is placed on the right here, set the timer going and you're ready to go. First obstacle is the wobbly bridge. You press this button and some careful timing is required to get the ball bearing to travel forward and more than a few times you'll end up going backwards. Get past the bridge and you're onto the crane. A small magnet lifts the ball. By rotating this dial carefully, swing it round and with an encouraging tap, get the ball to land on the platform. From here it's the bars and this is the point as a kid I'd usually mess up. This lever spreads the bars, causing the ball to roll but too wide and it will fall through and you'll need to get enough speed and forward momentum to get the ball to roll forward when the bars are snapped together again. If you're successful, you'll land on the wobble plate. There's two exits and you'll want to get the left one because otherwise it's game over. Use the joystick to manipulate the ball through the pegs and onto the bridge. This next bit is tricky as hell, the jumping steps. You'll then need to judge how heavy to push the button to jump the steps and through the hoop. It's all too easy to misjudge and overshoot and getting through the hoop. Plenty of times I've hit the hoop and it's one of the trickiest steps. But not the trickiest, that goes to the covered maze. The way this is moulded, it can give you some idea of the route you need to take and how to manipulate the joystick, but without being able to see where you are, this can really get quite infuriating, especially when the time is ticking down. Oh, and if you've not rotated the crane back once you've dropped it before, the plane won't be in place for when you exit the maze. I can't tell you the number of times I've fell because of this. Rotating the dial, you control the little plane with the ball, a little nudge and it lands in the cup. This is it. The final step, press that button just right and you beat the game! Screwball Scramble is an exceptionally well designed and produced toy. I can only imagine the tangle of components inside the casing here to make each control work flawlessly. There's little details to show just how much care and attention went into this toy. The slight ramp on the plane that lifts it slightly. No need for this at all but it's wonderful. The hoop being a face with an open mouth. After 40 years, Screwball Scramble is still being made. Check back all this week for even more ball bearing games. I'm Luke and I'll see you then.